Hey everybody, John Robinson here, Power Technical Consultant for Eastern Nebraska and Western Iowa. I'm taking a moment today in the Omaha office to demonstrate setting up an IP address using parameters for a PowerFlex 525. Alright everyone, and to start things off, we're going to open up RS Lynx Classic and take a look at RS Who. My Ethernet connection, in this case is Ethernet Connection 3, and as you can see, I have only on there the PLC inside of my demo kit and not the drive. I'm showing you this just to establish that my drive is not currently connected so that we can see how to configure it by way of parameters. And to move on to the actual setup of the IP address using the HEM, we're going to start by pressing the Select key and navigating to the C folder for communications. We're going to enter that folder and then move to parameter 128. Once there, we're going to change it from option 2, the default, which is boot P, to option 1, which is parameters. This will let us use parameters to set up the IP address and subnet mask for the drive. From there, we'll move to parameter 129, which is the first octet of the IP address, which we already have set to 192. Parameter 130 is the next octet, already set up to 168. Parameter 31 is the third octet, set up to 1. And parameter 32 is the last octet of the IP address. And to let you know, by pressing the up and down arrows, you can change the number for that particular octet. After this, we move to parameter 133, which is the first octet of the subnet mask, preset to 255. Then 134 is the next octet, 135 is the third octet of the subnet mask, and then 136 is the last octet, which was set to zero. We're now going to power cycle the drive. Any change to the IP address and subnet mask won't take effect in the drive until it's been power cycled. And there we have it. Now to let you know, I preset the IP address and subnet mask for the purposes of this video. If you're working with a brand new drive, all of those values will be set to a default of zero and you'll have to scroll up and down to set up your IP address to the numbers desired. And with our IP address set up on a drive and rebooted, we're going to go back to RS Links, go back to RS Who, take a look at Ethernet Path 3, which is a particular Ethernet I'm using, and as we can see, the drive is already present. 192, 168, 120. Now, this worked because I also set up the subnet mask of 255.255.255. Do remember to do that also. Uh, you don't necessarily need to set up a gateway, however, unless a gateway pertains to a particular Ethernet system that you're using. Thanks, everybody. I hope you found that valuable. Do please check out the links in the description below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good one.